Humans are continuously exposed to ionizing radiation from several natural sources, these being high-energy cosmic rays and radionuclides generated during the formation of the universe, which are still present in the Earth's crust today. Natural radionuclides migrate within the environment via different pathways – air, water, rock, soil and the food chain – to then enter the human body through ingestion via food and drinking water and inhalation, causing internal exposure. External exposure is caused by cosmic radiation and radiation from terrestrial radionuclides present in soil, rocks and building materials. The largest proportion of the effective dose received by the world's population is constituted by natural radioactivity, of which radon and its progeny accounts for more than half. However, the contributions may vary significantly within regions and per person. Radon is a colorless, odorless and radioactive noble gas descendant from uranium. Radon is the second cause of lung cancer, after smoking. The main risk posed by radon is not the gas itself, but its decay products. They attach to aerosols, thus increasing the chance of inhalation, and are easily trapped by lung tissues. As radon forms by radioactive decay inside mineral grains, some of it escapes into the pore space and migrates to the atmosphere or water. Indoors, radon can reach elevated levels due to three main sources underground soil, building materials and water. European regulations stipulate legally binding standards to ensure that individuals are appropriately protected against exposure to indoor radon. To gain a clearer overview of the natural sources of radioactivity, the Joint Research Centre of the European Commission launched the European Atlas of Natural Radiation with the collaboration of more than 60 institutions. The Atlas is an A3 book with 190 pages. Intended as an encyclopedia of natural radioactivity, the Atlas describes the different sources of this kind of radioactivity and represents the current state of knowledge on this topic. It also contains maps of Europe that show the levels of natural background radiation originating from various sources. Furthermore, it provides reference values and makes harmonized datasets available to the scientific community and national competent authorities.